plaintiff, Roshana Reddick, dated the defendant, but she admits that she cheated on him. And soon after, she found out she was pregnant. Roshana deeply regrets her actions because she's still in love with the defendant. But she petitioned the court for a paternity test because she does not know who her child's father is. Defendant Alex Pile says Roshana isn't telling the whole story because there was a third man involved who happened to be Alex's good friend. Therefore, Alex has no idea if the child is his or not. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Let me hear from you first, ma'am. Well, first, I would like to apologize to Alex for cheating on him and hurting him. Um, I want him to know that I really do love and care for him. And I hope that we can work this out again. Good. When, uh, when did you cheat on him? Well, um, back in 2017, um, I was dealing with him and my ex fiance How long had you been dating him prior to for that? Probably like five months. Oh, okay. Five um, months yeah, you were dealing with him, and then your ex fiance you were dealing with as well. Yes. And mm -hmm. um, at the time, me and my fiance uh, had broke up. He was talking to other people, and I began to talk to Alex. I met him on uh, Facebook. And at the time, um, I didn't know who I wanted, so I was playing both sides of the story. And um, at the time, Alex would always catch us two together. You all fall out? What happened? Tell me the rest of the story. Um, actually, we did. He didn't want to deal with me no more because I kept playing with his heart and his mm -hmm. emotions. And I was wrong for that. Um, at the time, I didn't know who I really... When did you break up? Uh, January. Of 18? Yes. And you discovered you were pregnant when? Um, in the month of December. So one month before you broke up? Yes. And did you tell him yes, at that did. time? Yes. Did you tell him it was his child? At or first did I you did. Know? At first I did. Did you know? Not exactly. Pardon? Not exactly. Did the other guy know you were pregnant? Yes, Your Honor. Did you tell him it was his child? Yes, I did. So you told both of them it was their child without knowing. Right. Made both men think they had a child coming, and if whatever um, the effect that may have had on them, too bad. Um, whatever other issues that might come with the belief that you have a unexpected or unintended child. But you should think about that when you're having unprotected sex as well. Let me hear from you. Uh, pretty much, Your Honor, pretty much uh, go off what she said. We did meet back last year, June. Um, at the time, everything was cool, but like she stated, I was always catching them together. She would tell me she broke it up with him, but I would still always catch them together. Okay, and that's when um, you broke up? No, um, at the time, I would still give her the benefit of a doubt. What um, do you mean? <laughs> go ahead. I mean, at the time, I mean, we was, you know, spending time together. Um, and I guess I just got fed up with the whole always catching them. So I told her, if you want to be with him, that's good and dandy. Y'all go ahead, because it wasn't supposed to be that serious with us. But like she stated, she was trying to play both sides of the fence. And she's not telling you the whole story. There was a third person she was also involved with as well. Is that true? Pardon me? Yes, yeah. Okay. Um, why, why didn't you tell me that? Now you're trying to deceive me now. Go ahead. At the time when I found out the third person was a close friend of mine, one of my uh, homies or whatever, uh, I confronted her about it. And I have an audio of me and her conversating, her admitting to... You have it today? Yes, sir. You can play it? Yes, sir. All right, you have a transcript of it that I can read while it plays? Let's hear it. This is you speaking with her. So answer the question. When you what? Yeah, it happened in the back of the car when they took me home. And what happened in the back seat? Y'all did the whole course? And what happened in the back seat? Oral again? And that was it. And this is your friend she's talking about. Yeah, that was. And what are you talking about again? So um, 
the, you had discovered something earlier between her and your good friend. The thing is, when he found out me and her was dealing, um, <laughs> it was kind of crazy. It was after church service. He found out that me and her was dealing. He said, "Oh, I'm trying to get with church. her." Church. Yeah. <laughs> Who all went to the church? <laughs> all three of y'all? No, sir. Okay. She goes to a separate church. Me and my, at the time, one of my homies went to the same church. This gentleman? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. They served with, uh, that she was doing the, the stuff in the car. Two-hour man. And his fiance's Yeah, coming. the two-hour man. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> at the time, when I had suspicions, I approached her. And this is when the audio was, uh, was recorded. After that, I didn't have no more dealings with her. Yeah. So, at the time, that's when, she, like she said, she told us in December that she was pregnant. Right. All right, cool. She, she mm-hmm. told us two, but also him as well. So, it was three people she told. Told the third person, too? I didn't actually tell him he found out. How old is the child? Two months. Two months? Okay, great. He won't know about this foolishness as long as he doesn't see the show, and hopefully uh, he doesn't. But I also have other evidence to, with this or her telling the actual ex fiance or whatever he wants to be today. Okay. Uh, prior to December, she logged into my phone on Facebook and forgot to log out. So I have uh, numerous screenshots of them exchanging pictures, uh, them... Uh, what type of pictures? Uh, w- one of them is kind of him in the shower, I guess, sitting here sitting well, They would her. know he was dealing. What are the questions? Yeah. Is, it's just that at the time, any, you telling what? me you had no saying or anything with him, but you're still behind my back, still having conversations with him. In January, to fast forward after the whole December incident, uh, me and the current fiance, ex-fiance, whatever he wants to be, we had an altercation in her house to I'm where about- I got... I had to be sent to the hospital. He got locked up for aggravated assault. What happened? Give me the, how did that occur? Uh, long story short, I got permission from her parents to go over there. Uh, went there. The ex fiance was there. She knew the next time we saw each other, there was going to be an issue. Uh, I don't have it with me, but he used to send me threats on Facebook. At the time, you know, I'm, I was 29 at the time. You know, I really didn't pay him uh, any attention because he was a child. Um, but, you know, I, I left it alone. But she knew the next time we saw each other, it was going to be an issue. So I went to the residence. He was there. So I said, yo, uh, let's go outside and talk, you know, just like men. Her other two boys were there from two other people as well. She has two other kids prior to, with two other people. So my thing is, I said, let's talk outside because I'm not going to let the two little boys see us, you know, con- you know go back and forth because I wouldn't want my son to see that. He said no. So I'm not noticing he had his hands behind his back. So we started fighting, and he had two kitchen knives already on his possession. So at the time, the fight lasted maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, one of her sisters called the cops or whatever. The cops came. Uh, he got arrested on the spot for aggravated So I got sent to the hospital. I had to get stitches on my chest, forearms, Ooh, and my fingers. Almost uh, died. Um, I had the police report here as well if you'd like to see it. Yeah. I have no reason to disbelieve me. Sorry. So, yeah. You accuse two men of being the father of your child. We see what happens. You... One inch away from death, that's what happens. He's yes. just one, way, one inch away from being killed, stabbed in the chest. All right, and anything else you want to show me indicating uh, paternity issues or statements? Or? Uh, yes, sir. I have here uh, the, her ex fiance brother lives in my area on and off or whatever, so I saw him at the corner store. Um, so I, you know, I told him, you know, how's everything? Because I haven't seen her since, literally since the, the, the whole altercation happened between me and her fiance. So uh, the conversation between her and the ex fiance's brother was I asked him, you know, how everything was doing. So then he inboxed her right after I saw him. Now, sh- her not being aware that I have access to her Facebook, I see the conversation between her and her brother. Um, it's her and uh, it's, uh, them two and other people that she's admitting that I'm not the father of the child. Ma'am, did you do that? Yes, Your Honor. Why are you playing games like this? Why were you doing that? I didn't know at the time. I was confused. No, you said you did know. You said you did know. Yeah, I was confused. You said it wasn't his. No, this is an affirmative statement. This isn't confusion at all. This is an affirmative, clear statement. How long did you know this young lady before you start uh, getting intimate with her? Uh, I met her the early part of last year. And how old was she? She seems young. How old was she then? At the time, she was 20. And how old were you? 29. Yeah. And you know how long again? I'm sorry, before you were intimate with her? 
I met her for a brief second at a church service. That was. And how long after did you have sex with her? Unprotected sex. It was months later. Okay. Like literally months. Later. Months later. All right. And you knew she had two children already, right? No, so I didn't know until after I went to the residence and met her family. Oh, so what y'all talk about for months? When you dating a woman or you talking to her for months and you know you're interested in having sex with her at the very least, yes, sir. you don't say, hey, what's up with your life? You find nothing out about her? No, sir, I didn't find out until afterwards. Okay, well, there you get it. You Part of the headache is uh, you yes, brought sir. it on to yourself. You have unprotected sex with a woman that you have absolutely no clue about. And are you sad and whatever and worried because uh, uh, she is playing games with the paternity of the child? Could very well be yours. <clears throat> There's no telling, but I'm, I'm trying to get your mind ready. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, <laughs> may not be true, but get your mind ready, Doc, because we about to know. <laughs> get the results. And you're going to take care of your child. You sound like you're a good father to your current child. Yes, sir. And if this is your child, I'm sure you'll be the same. You got anything else you want to say other than I'm scandalous judge? <laughs> that's, that's all you need to say. Judge, I am scandalous. Child is yours, sir. Have a good day. I just told him before that he was the father and he didn't believe me. She can continue to be with her fiance, whatever they... I'm actually not whatever. with him anymore. I'm gonna take care of my son. That's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs>